Hi everyone, happy April 1st. Um, it's been rainy and not so sunny or warm out, but you know what they say about April? Right? April showers bring May flowers, um, and especially at a time like this, we can only hope for warmer weather. Um, so, we're going to do a couple of different workouts today. We're going to do cardio burn, like we did last week, but I'm going to switch up the movements. So, keeping it simple, right? Just eight movements, nice and easy, uh, four minutes in each block. So, we're going to do that together. And then I have a 30 minute sculpt class um, called Sculpt 30, where we're gonna do 10 minutes of arms, 10 minutes of core, and 10 minutes of legs. Super easy, keep it in sets of 30 seconds before we rotate to the next movement. And that's gonna be it for today. So this first video will be the cardio burn, get our bodies moving, get nice and warm, loosey goosey, and um, then we'll move on to another video that I'll upload afterwards, and that will be the Sculpt 30. Okay, if anyone doesn't know me, again, my name is Kristen, and uh, it's so nice to virtually meet you through this um, online device called YouTube. <laughs> I know sometimes, um, or some some people don't know about YouTube, so um, hey, whatever. It's a way to get your workout in, and um, right now it's super useful. So we're going to get moving. We're going to get warmed up for a couple minutes here, and then we're going to start our workout. So we're going to start with taps to the front and taps to the side. If you need to cut out any jumping movements, please do so. Read your body, listen to your body, and uh, just have some fun. All right, here we go. Clear some room, make sure you have water nearby. Here we go. All right, so taps to the front, taps to the side. So if you need to modify this movement, Instead of doing the jumps, you're just staying here, tap, tap, side, side, right? Just to get the bodies moving, nice and warm. Last one. All right, so right here we're gonna do some squats. Sit down nice and low. Listen to your breathing. Down low. I hope those notes that I uploaded last time were useful as well. I'm going to do the same exact thing. So hopefully by this point while you're watching the video, you have those notes with you. You can look at for reference. Almost there. About 20 seconds. So chilly out. Oh. <laughs> Keep going. Sit down nice and low. All right. Five, four, three, two, and quick feet right here. Quick feet, quick feet. Warming it up. So just like last time again, I'm going to do the first uh, round with you for each block. I'm going to hold it 
holds you accountable, holds you responsible, so make sure you do all of the reps. Make sure you're timing yourself appropriately. Whew. Keep going. Three, two, and one. Good. That was our three minute warm up. We're going to get started. So in this first block, for the first 30 seconds, we have the movement of skaters going side to side. So I'll demonstrate here, right? So like you're hopping side to side or sliding, skating back and forth, right? Or cut the jump, step, bringing the foot back and arm across the body, right? So skaters for 30 seconds. And then for 30 seconds after that, we have what's called the dancing crab. So you're gonna be here, okay? Touching opposite foot and hand, okay? Or progression, keep that booty up and side to side. Opposite hand and foot. Okay, so that was your demo for that. I'm gonna do the first round with you. 30 seconds of the skaters, then 30 seconds of dancing crab, and we keep going, right? Three more rounds after that, okay? So back and forth, so each block is, is four minutes, okay? So we go skaters, dancing crab, skaters, dancing crab, Skaters dancing crab, skaters dancing crab. Okay, so that block is going to be four minutes 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30. Minute rest, and then we move on to the next one. I'm going to set my watch up here. Get ready for skaters for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go. Skaters. Might sound a little confusing, but you'll get it, I promise. If you did this workout with me last week, then you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good. Now if you want to progress this movement even more, we're going to bring the hand down to the ground. Down to the ground. <sighs> or you're here, right? Keep going. And 30 seconds is up. We move to our mat. Dancing crab. Opposite foot and hand, or booty up. And pause. Okay, so that was your demo for the round, for the first round. Reset yourself, okay? Put four minutes on the clock or phone, stopwatch, whatever you have, and begin, okay? Come back when you finish that first round. Okay, so when you come back, after you unpause, we're going to move on to block number two. Block number two is jump rope off the mat, and then plank jacks with a falling push-up if you want for progression on the mat, okay? So again, you go back and forth, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, right? Four minutes for that block. You go back and forth between both of those movements. So make sure you reset your watch or your phone. So this right now should be your one minute rest, right? Your one minute rest in between the block one and block two. So make sure you drink some water, and we're gonna get started. Okay, so jump rope, you can just be here in place. If you want, you can go side to side, or you can go side to side and in the middle. Side to side and in the middle, okay? And then plank jacks on the mat, right here. Plank position. And the falling push-up looks like this. All right, so for anyone that wants to progress in the movement, be careful. If you've never done that before, don't do it, okay? Only for those that are more advanced, at the more advanced level, okay? All right, so you should have your minute reset, okay? You got your water, clear your space, get ready for block number two with jump rope and plank jacks or falling push-up. Ready? Three, two, one, here we go. Jump rope. 
or you're just here, right, in place. Jump rope, jump rope, jump rope. Make sure you're following your breath. Right, breathing is so important. Keep going. <laughs> Get ready to switch. And here we go, plank jacks. Keep going. Have about 10 seconds left of this first round. Then I want you to pause the video and you're gonna keep it going. Go back to those jump ropes, right? Three, two, one. So now you come back to those jump ropes. All right, unpause me when you finish that four minutes, okay? All right, so at this point, you completed block number two. You're in your one minute rest period before block number three. <laughs> okay, so make sure you did the, the full four minutes, right? I'll, I'll write down some notes so you can follow along. All right, so block number three. We have either high knees, okay? So modified version, right? You can do opposite elbow and knee, right? Staying right here. Chest is up, core is nice and tight, or you are jogging it out, high knees. Or for my advancers, tuck jumps. Okay, so that's gonna be the first 30 seconds off the mat, and then 30 seconds on the mat. You're going to be in a low plank on your forearms. And you're going to dip the hips. Okay. So make sure you got your water. Again, right, clear the space so we have some room. And listen to your body. So if you should not be jumping by any means, please don't jump. All right. Should be finishing up that one minute rest. Again, make sure you're timing yourself appropriately, okay? That whole block should be four minutes. So you keep going back and forth between the first movement and the second. Go back to the first, second, first, second, first, second. That's your four minutes. All right, here we go. Block number three. Reset those watches. Here we go. All right, so you're either here, right, high knees, working the core a little bit, or you're here, right? Those knees nice and high, hip level, right? Or tuck jump. Woohoo! Those knees nice and high. Good, we're going for another seven seconds. Keep going. Remember, low plank on the forearms, on our mat for hip dips. And here we go. Keep going. Another 10 seconds. Keep it up. Keep it up. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're dipping that hip side to side. Really rotating that core. Hip goes down to the mat. Switch side to side. Don't let that butt creep up in the back. Side to side. And relax. Okay, so at this point, pause the video. Keep it going. Keep it going. Good. Alright, welcome back. So you just completed block number three, right? You did it for four minutes, right? <laughs> We're going to block number four. Last block. Okay, so we're going to do what's called a sprawl. A sprawl is similar to a burpee, except you're not jumping up at the top. You're literally dropping to the floor and getting up as fast as you can. 
So um, sometimes in like a boot camp class, you might hear the instructor say sprawl, everyone says sprawl, and you drop. And then you come up as fast as you can. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like. So sprawl, drop, come up, drop, come up. That is a sprawl. Okay, get down as fast as you can, get back up as fast as you can. So that's a sprawl for the first 30 seconds. Then the second one on our mat, the movement is going to be butterfly kick, so we keep our legs straight out, right? You can put your hands underneath that booty, and we're keeping the legs nice and low, and the legs are fluttering up and down. Working that core. <laughs> All right, so you're resetting your clocks. We're moving on to block number four. Again, four minutes long. Keep it moving, even though I'm going to stop after the first round. All right. Get some water if you need it. Clear that space. We're about to sprawl. In three, two, one, first 30 seconds, sprawl. Five seconds, three, two, one. Excellent, flip over. You have those butterfly kicks right here. One, arms up. Pause the video, but make sure you get all those sets in. All right, excellent. So, when you unpause the video, you are complete. You are completed with this workout. All right, so make sure, like, you, like I said, follow along with the notes that I provide either in the description below this video, or you can find them on the KS Fitness uh, Facebook. Puppies! Um, so you can follow along, okay? Um, second video coming up is going to be Sculpt 30. For that class, you will need uh, some light weights if you have them. You can always improvise with some dumbbells or whatever you find in your home that has some some uh, value of weight to it, okay? Nothing super heavy. If you want, maybe you have uh, two gallon jugs of water or milk or something like that, that's perfectly fine. That can work. Um, I'm mostly going to be using bands. Um, if you don't have bands, um, you can do actually the same exact movement without the bands. That's perfectly fine. Um, bands as in a loop band, resistance band of some kind, something small that you can keep um, around your your legs or your ankles um, for some kind of resistance. Okay, so I'll meet you in the next video. Bye everyone. Great job.